Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel and a uh, quick tip if you have the XH Data D109, if you received the receiver and uh, if you purchased it, um, I think it's at $30, $30. At the deal that they're giving right now, it's actually a good deal. Um, I think it's tough to have something better at that price point. Um, once it moves up to 50 then I would probably go more to the Radiwall R108 rather than this. But that said, um, one of the features that is nice on the radio, of course, is the ability to scan the shortwave bands in search of signals. So to do so, what you do is you press the uh, shortwave minus button, hold, and you have a scan that starts. It's fairly fast. It's as fast as the fastest Texan um, ETM scans. And um, you have, of course, the counter here on the upper right that gives you the number of stations it's actually getting. Um, keep in mind, I'm on the telescopic antenna right now, so what you see here as a number is uh, telescopic at uh, 0, 100 um, and what, it's 0, 030 UTC right now. So uh, all the stations that it will stop on are on telescopic in my kitchen. Not exactly positioned in the best place because there are better places where I can scan, but you know, gives you an idea of what it looks like. Um, it actually is very sensitive. It will stop on some really weak signals when it actually scans like this. So sometimes it'll get on and say, "Was there something there?" But yeah, there's a weak station, and uh, that's going to be the uh, the nice part. That you won't miss out on much. And even if there's a fade, if the signal's still there, it actually might show up in the scan. So you see here, number of stations. It's actually not bad at all. Compared to Texan scans and other scans, it seems to stop much less on spurious signals on the telescopic and much more on actual signals, which is also a nice thing. Um, so, you know, there could be a little advantage on that here. It's definitely nice. If it wasn't the overloading problem on the uh, outdoor antenna, um, I would probably have this recommended much more. But it's overload on external antenna. Uh, it's it's a tough one to go by, and the Radiwow R108, which will be sold at the same price, actually has and suffers much less problems on the external antennas than this one. Um, you know they could have fixed this easily by just adding an attenuation. If they would have ad added attenuation or, or or some you know RF gain button or it would have changed. You know you could just lower the sensitivity and it would probably have been fine. So you see here 36 stations that it's monitored. I don't think here it's going to actually find any other, but uh, it gives you an idea of uh, how nice this radio is when it scans. So it's going to be fun to test out when it's uh, when I do it outside, actually. I'll take a quick look after that at what stations are here. But it's definitely kind of nice to see. Pretty fast scan, actually. You know, don't have to wait too much. And it's a quick way to see what's on if you're not sure of any schedules or anything and where stations are. Uh, this is a neat feature for that because it will actually go through the international broadcast bands by itself. And here we go. Quick. CHU, it did stop a little bit on CHU, 3330. WWCR. WRMI. CRI via Cuba, Radio Vanna Cuba, probably had some weak, yeah, CFRX Toronto, WWCR, WBCQ, Unknown, so that his could learn WBCQ. To... WWCR, I believe. WYNB. WRMI. Not sure. Radio Romania. 
Radio RT. Spain. Week WRMI. Very good Brazil. Radio Marti. Spain. WWCR WWV We are organized a conference on climate and sustainability risks and opportunities. In several panel discussions, speakers focused on the environmental setting in their sector. WRMI. With a station that is. You're curious to see the ID here. Strong signal, WRMI. Ukraine has had a negative impact on business. Oh, I believe this could be Radio Ukraine. Rising costs and the refinancing. I'm back here. So pretty cool scan, actually. As you see. So I'm going to continue listening to this. So a uh, nice scan, actually, from this radio. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.